Hi, I'm Jonathan Bender, Systems and Applications Engineer at Astera Labs. Welcome back to our CloudScale Interop Lab, where we validate system and device interoperability and reliability with our Aries Smart Retimers for PCIe Gen 4 and Gen 5. In this Interop Bulletin, we explore the topic of PCIe switches. We'll review why certain complex system topologies involving switches need retimers to achieve optimal link performance. We rigorously test our retimers with switches from popular enterprise vendors, such as Broadcom and Microsemi. Today, I'm going to show you how our PCIe smart retimers are able to ensure proper Gen 4 data speeds in a scenario that includes a CPU to a retimer card to a switch within a JBOF. Adding a switch to a PCIe bus creates more complex topology options, including aggregation of different link widths and speeds into a single cohesive upstream link, advanced packet handling capabilities, and more. These features come at a power, size, and complexity cost, but plenty of systems benefit from a switch, and those systems sometimes need to have retimers added, especially with the move to PCIe Gen 4 and Gen 5. Now, let's power up the system and let it finish booting. In our demo, we'll be using a serial cables add-in card, which features our Ares PCIe Smart Retimer. It helps form a Gen 4 516 SRIS link with external mini SAS HD cables, each carrying four lanes to an 8-bay JBOF. This JBOF has a Broadcom switch with an upstream link configured as 1x16 to the retimer card, and up to 8 Gen 4 NVMe drives for a total of 32 lanes in the downstream direction. The retimer is needed to ensure a reliable Gen 4 link across the external cabling. Without it, the path between the CPU and the JBOF would have too much loss to form or maintain the link. Here, we can see on the host system that eight drives are detected on the PCIe bus, all running at Gen 4 speed and four lanes wide. Looking at the retimer's path status, we see a single Gen 4 by 16 link. If I remove a drive, the link between the JBOF to the retimer to CPU remains at Gen 4 by 16, since the switch is segmenting its downstream ports while maintaining the same upstream link. Earlier, I mentioned that this is an SRIS link. SRIS refers to the type of clocking architecture between the CPU and endpoint. In a PCIe link, there is a 100 MHz reference clock that is provided to all link partners. You can either have a common clock system, where a single ref clock source is copied and provided to each partner, or a separate reference, where the CPU and endpoint receive ref clock from a different 100 MHz source. When the CPU, retimer, and endpoint are all within the same chassis, Common clock is the usual configuration. Depending on the connector and cable choice, when the PCIe link goes between the chassis, the ref clock may not be transmitted alongside the data. If either side's ref clock source employs spread spectrum clocking, or SSC, for EMI purposes, then it would be a separate reference, independent spread spectrum clocking, or SRIS. If neither side uses SSC, then it's separate reference no spread spectrum, or SRNS. In this case, the JBOF has a separate reference clock with independent spread spectrum enabled, which is no problem for the Ares PCIe Smart Retimer, as it supports any of these clocking schemes for maximum flexibility. SRIS requires the retimer to comply with shorter skip ordered set intervals to compensate for the differences in frequency between the two ends of the link. In addition, the retimer's data path and clocking architecture must be designed to specifically handle the extreme frequency differences, up to 5600 ppm, that independent spread spectrum can produce. To wrap up, Astera Labs smart PCIe retimers enable reliable Gen 4 and Gen 5 performance for complex switch topologies. And they stand out in the market as they support any clocking scheme required from common clock to SRIS please contact us at info at with any questions you have regarding using Ares PCIe smart retimers in your system design. And be sure to request the latest Ares PCIe smart retimers interop report from asteralabs.com forward slash git reports. Thanks for watching and see you next time.